him for over 20 years. In fact, uh, spanning almost through my professional career. Tony is a very focused man, highly disciplined, a very passionate person about what he wants to achieve, very meticulous, and above all, he's a vision. Because he was here as CEO through the merger, until he left as the CEO, even though he calls himself an entrepreneur today, but I know he was born and bred in banking, and he did well and excelled. So he has a lot of experience as a CEO. So coming back as a chairman, after being outside the industry for quite a long time, has given him a thrill of objective of knowing what happens in the industry, and in UB in particular, as a CEO, and seeing the outside world. So we have two in one in our chairman today. So from his experience, his knowledge, and his contacts, the bank is benefiting so hugely from it. So he brings a lot of value to United Bank for Africa. I, Kennedy, very proud of you, Mr. Tony Lumelu, our chairman, because today you are now being recognized once more by the international community for all you have done for the bank, for the industry, and indeed mankind. I congratulate you and wish you all the best. From all of us in United Bank for Africa, all the staff in 19 African countries, United States, in England, and in France, we say a huge congratulations and well done, and more grace to your elbow. Tony Lumelu, uh, who caught the uh, vision of um, Transcom at its uh, formation and who believes in it but I think his own belief in it lasted longer than that of uh, others. I think he, he tried to pull things together and I believe that that was what uh, saved the Transcom from going completely down the drain. There are key elements to the success of Tony. One is that whenever you encounter him, you know that the first thing he's going to do is to find out how he can help. That's something that eludes a lot of people. Tony is always seeking for ways to add value. Most important with Tony is hard work. I don't know how many hours he sleeps. If you want to engage, and that's the secret to success, Tony will find out how he can help you. Dear Tony, and your fellow African entrepreneurs, are our ambassadors and pathfinders for the new generation. A generation that understands that the positive transformation of a rising Africa goes along with a strong, smart, and committed entrepreneurship. This is what Tony rightly calls Afri-capitalism. And I do believe in African capitalism. So I met Tony 28 years ago, and you know what struck me then was, I'm sure you all see today still hasn't changed. A very calm, kind, determined, disciplined, hardworking gentleman. And Tony doesn't take no for an answer, as I'm sure you all know. We've had our own personal stories. But Tony, once Tony believes in something, he holds on to it. He doesn't waver, he doesn't falter, and he, he's focused on his goals. He's driven, he's, but at the same time, he's mindful of all those around him. As he moves, as he progresses, he wants to make sure that everybody is moving, everybody is progressing with him. He, he wants to see the best in people. He wants to see people putting their best at all times. He's amazing. He's someone who he's so driven, he's so focused on um, excellence. He he doesn't um, he doesn't like to see people be less than they can be. So I mean we see this in the office, but also at home. He's he's he likes to encourage the children. But one thing I want to say is he makes time for the children. This is Tony, we all know that he's in the office as soon as the sun rises. He's in one meeting after the other. He's in one part of the world or the next. But even with all this, 
Tony is in a meeting, his children call, and he will halt that meeting to take their calls. If he can't stop to talk, if it's a first time call, he'll put it on, he'll show the children the meeting, and then he'll turn it off. <laughs> He's an amazing man. He wants to know what they're doing. He always has sound advice for them. He always, I mean, he's genuinely interested. I think people find it, they probably think, Tony is so busy at work, he doesn't have time at home. But no, he's incredible. We have two-year-old sons. He will sit down with those boys and he will play with them and he will find out what they're doing, in, even in their little play, group, play groups. So it's, 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 it's just amazing. Thank God for his life, I thank God for him. I thank God for bringing him to us, for giving him to us, because I, I, I don't know how he does it, but he does it somehow. And so today, as you receive the Dwight Eisenhower Global Award, an award that is truly well deserved, I want to say congratulations. Now I know it might sound like a cliche, but you really are indeed a man in a million. Congratulations and well done.